So today I'll be showing you how to fix the problem with your Galaxy A17 5G in case you've forgotten the password, pin, or pattern that you need to gain access to the phone. So no matter what uh, password or pattern you put, you've actually forgotten it or someone tampered with your phone and accidentally changed the passcode and they can't remember it. So basically you're trying to regain access to your phone. Now, to be able to do this, you're gonna have to hard reset. Now a hard reset will wipe away all the data from your phone, but while you're setting up your phone afresh, you'll still need the Google account password of the Google account that was on the phone before you did the hard reset, okay? So keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and plug in a cable. So this is something you need to do, plug in a cable uh, to the phone and the other end of this cable should be in a computer. So it could be a Mac, a Windows computer, it doesn't really matter as long as it's a computer. Now, once you have that connected, you're gonna force restart this phone into recovery mode. So to do that, we're gonna force shutdown, which is power and volume down, force shutdown. When the phone goes off, switch to volume up and wait for that uh, Samsung logo to appear. And then once the Samsung logo appears, let go of the power button and continue holding volume up. So that's the procedure for going into recovery mode. So let's do this together. So you can see the phone is on, so we don't have access to the phone. So let's go ahead and press uh, power and volume down. So power and volume down, press and hold. Just ignore what you see on the screen because you still need your password to be able to turn it off. So just keep holding, so phone goes off switch to volume up and then let go of the power button. Now, sometimes it might take one or two tries to do to get this right, but for most times it's gonna be a quick, uh, simple process. And as you can see, that was pretty quick. We are now inside recovery mode. So inside recovery mode, you just need to scroll down to wipe data slash factory reset, and then you're scrolling using the volume buttons and then selecting using the power button. So I'm gonna select wipe data slash factory reset and then scroll down and select that again. And that's going to format the phone. So you can see the wipe data process is complete. It says data wipe complete. So now it's time to reboot the phone back to the setup screen. So select, make sure reboot system now is highlighted and then press the power button to select that. So the phone should finish erasing the data and then it's gonna reboot back to the setup screen because you've already wiped all the data from the phone. Now, keep in mind that this will not erase the data that's stored on your SIM cards. For instance, if you have contacts saved on the SIM card, those will not get erased. Also, any data you have on the SD card will not be erased. So let's just wait for this process. It might take a while, but it's gonna end up on the setup screen. So we're back on the setup screen. So let's go ahead and set this phone afresh, set it up afresh. So I'm gonna change the language to English and then accept that. And then now I can start the setup process. So you have, of course, this uh, usual stuff, the end user agreement and privacy policies. So select those and tap on agree. And then this part is gonna prompt you to either set up using a Galaxy or Android device or an iPad or iPhone. You need to set up manually because the, the priority now is to regain access to the uh, phone, okay? So connect your Wi-Fi because you're gonna need that. So. So once Wi-Fi is connected, tap on next. And it says getting your phone ready, so just be patient. And then on this next page, this is where it's gonna ask for the password. Now, keep in mind that we did do a hard reset because we could not remember this password. And since we can't remember that password, there's an option here say, that says use my Google account instead. So that's the option I was talking about. So you need to tap on that. And then it's gonna ask you to sign in with your Google account, the one that was on the phone before this process. So that's what's going to allow you to unlock the phone and regain access to the phone and just continue the setup process. 
So let's go ahead and sign in. I'm going to start with the email address and the password and then tap on next. Now, once you sign in successfully, that unlocks your phone. And with the phone now unlocked, you can now choose to even skip signing in with your Google account because now you have access, you can skip that and continue. So let's skip and then I'll choose don't copy and then I can just proceed with setting up my phone. It's, it's a very simple process from here. You can just skip all this stuff from here, skip, skip that, all that. And then you'll notice we, we, we have already regained access to the phone. We just need to continue the setup process. Skip this as well. Just keep all this stuff. This is all stuff you can agree to later. And as you can see, eventually we are all set up. So that is basically how to regain access to your Galaxy A17 5G in case you've forgotten the password, pin, or pattern of your phone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, you can talk to us in the comment section. Good luck.